If you're researching on how to buy a gold chain, tips and tricks, congratulations, you just clicked on the best video you could possibly watch. What's going on everyone? Spray which code you find jewelry, sure personal jewelry. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to break down price per gram, what to know when buying a gold piece of jewelry, how to save some money, and trust me, an informed customer is the best customer. Maybe not for stores, but for you guys. With that being said, Let's get started. The number one most important thing you need to know when buying gold jewelry is how much the gold jewelry weighs. It tells you the complete story that you need to know to feel comfortable and confident with that purchase. Now, a lot of these big box stores that people feel comfortable going into, you look at something, they do not have scales, they will not tell you how much it weighs. That's the red flag, you don't talk, you walk on those deals. Why? Because number one, you don't know what you're getting, if it's solid to hollow. And number two, the most important, that means that piece is marked up way high. They really don't want you to know the weight. They want you to fall in love with the piece. It looks good, it's brand new, the lights are shining, it's a nice piece of jewelry. But if you don't know the weight, you don't know how to make that decision, you really don't know what is the quality of that piece based off the weight. So number one, know the gold weight. I always get questions and concerns. People go into stores and say, hey, Braden, they're selling their chain for twice as much as yours. Why? Is yours real gold? How can I trust you? Guys, everybody has a different business model strategy, what they need to price. Uh, big box stores that don't weigh out those chains, generally, again, the markup is higher. Our quality is the best. I'll go in with Jacoji chains on any store and we'll come out number one as always. It just depends on, again, the markups. Then that's what all their jewelry is, so that should tell you right there, they have to mark theirs up. They're a brick and mortar store, more overhead, less volume, they mark those prices up. So that's what's good about doing online research and in-store research as well. You can kind of see the difference in pricing. Again, some people prefer just to go have a relationship with an actual jeweler, go in the store, come out with a nice fancy bag. Others want just a good price and really exceptional quality. So there's not a difference, not like you're getting less gold online, it's a scam, nothing like that. I can't speak for everybody, but for here at Jacoji.com, you're getting, like I said, the best quality for a reasonable price. Assuming you guys were all good Jacoji students and now know the gram weight of the piece, what do we do? We go to step number two, that is figuring out the price per gram how much the market price of gold is and how much premium you're paying on top of that. You make a decision. Let's do simple math because I am dumb. The selling price for a chain is $2,000. The gram weight is 20 grams in 14 karat gold. We take 2,000 divided by 20 grams and then we get $100 per gram. That's price per gram right there. So cool, How do we? what do we do with that? We go on, I have a gold tracker app. You could go online, go on Google. There's a bunch of information. You can see the live spot price. Right now, as I'm making this video, 14 karat gold per gram is $34.96. So that is the market price of 14 karat gold right there. Now, they're charging $100 per gram. That's really high, but for gold chains and bracelets, then you just subtract. So market price, I have pretty much $35 per gram of actual gold value. Now that is, if you go to sell it, you're not gonna get $35, but it's a good thing to have. Are you comfortable with that much of a premium? That becomes a decision you have to make, but you need to know per gram what you're getting, what you're spending, so you can feel comfortable and confident with that purchase. Now that you know how much the item weighs, the price per gram, now it's up to you as a consumer on what you want to do. What are your values as a consumer? Are you the type that just wants the lowest price per gram, close to spot price as possible, doesn't matter about anything else, or do you wanna go with a reliable source, a trusted source? You have to make that decision. The good thing about knowing the gram weight of an item, um, you can compare and make sure. Me personally, again, this is me, and I made a video recently on um, chains to avoid. The hollow chains was on that list. I don't recommend it, but it's good to know the gram weight or the gold weight of an item so you can make sure it is not a hollow or semi-hollow piece. If that's important to you, some people love hollow, great. It's just you need to know everything collectively to feel comfortable. A lot of people don't feel comfortable when buying gold online. Is it real? Again, you can go and spend less, but if you're still uncertain, it's not a good feeling. So I always recommend, because people always ask me for my advice, shop where you feel comfortable, 
price per gram, it gives and takes, but you need to feel comfortable with your purchase, especially with these higher ticket. No matter if you're buying a five gram or a 50 gram gold piece, it's gonna be expensive because the nature of just how valuable gold is. So know the purity, know if it's hollow, semi-hollow, if it's solid, and then know the price per gram, as well as do some research on the companies. Feel comfortable with what you're going to get. Those are some big steps on how to kind of learn about gold buying. And as you buy gold, you'll know different qualities. You'll know different um, links and different things. It is kind of a journey just like anything. You start with something new, and then as you kind of, it's hobby and learn, you get smarter and wise with that. But these tips and tricks will help you not get fooled by that fool's gold. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any comments down below and we'll see you on our next jewelry video.